<laughs> You're on camera with mummy, but where's Appa? He's behind the camera there. Here. So Nicola, what did you do? Okay, so I have had this idea for a little while. Our son Yul really, really likes drawing and painting. And of course I'm his mother, so of course I think this, but I think he's quite creative. And I had this idea because I wanted to get back into painting and do some more painting. If I took some of the things that he painted and then I created something more with them, so it's like a collaboration together. Most of the time he's painting in one of his sketchbooks, so that's just on paper and paper can buckle a lot. So I made sure that I had a canvas for him to work on. You come over to mummy? Okay. We had it all set up and this is what happened. I set up paints and brushes and as soon as he came home he wanted to paint. Do you want to take this one off? Okay, what have Being you got? Being a toddler, he also decided he didn't want to take his backpack off. That's why he still has a backpack on while he's painting. You can't argue with toddlers. We stopped to paint some dinosaurs and then after a few more strokes he decided he was done. I was a bit concerned at this point. Being a creative type like me, when he's over it, he's over it. But it didn't seem like that much for me to work with. The next day, while he was doing another painting, he added a bit more, but not much. And this is what I have to work with. I had an idea for a scene that would make use of the green and the yellow. First I roughly mapped out the scene and then got to work. It was hard deciding how detailed I should be, how much of his painting should be obvious. I have done this once before with my son and his painting had worked well as an underwater scene, meaning I could leave much of his brush strokes. 
but this time it felt like I had to incorporate his colours while creating a scene myself. His brushstroke still dictated the painting though and I had to leave the colours that he had painted. I worked quickly over the next few hours to get enough done before I had to pick him up from daycare. Thank you. 
So this is how much I got done yesterday. About five hours worth. So I could only paint while Yule was at daycare. Um, and so I just gave myself that time and then whatever I got done that was going to be it. I think I will come in today and do a little bit more detail. It's very hard to know. Like I think I'm going to leave this how it is here because I still want to have like the colors that he put down. I don't want to overwork it. Of course like you know this type of painting you could spend weeks or months on but I need to have a limited amount of time and then when that's done that's done. It still needs to have the the essence of what Yule did and I don't want to overwork it. Uh, so I have bits here that are like these are like a lot of the lines that he put down I've incorporated into the painting and the colors that I've kept um, and so I think I'm just going to mostly leave it how it is now but I'm just going to do like maybe a little bit of detail on the rocks here and then leave it and maybe just these bits here just leave how they are Okay, this is the final painting. This has been varnished, so the colors should show nicely. Uh, you can see that like I've left some areas around like slightly unfinished for that unfinished look and also because I had a time limit. But I think that works with his brush strokes and what he did first. So yeah, this is the, the finished painting and we'll see what you'll think about it. Let's go home. How was daycare? Did you have fun? Upper. Yeah, we'll go find upper, okay? Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Uh -huh. He was just saying upper, upper. Wasn't happy that I picked him up. <laughs> upper, upper. You. I know you were a bit preoccupied with your new, your new dinosaur lunchbox, but do you want to see what mummy did? To your painting? Do you see what mommy did? What did mommy do? <gasps> Ta -da! What do you think? Yeah. Do you like it? Oh, you do like it. Just don't step on it. <laughs> Just don't sit on it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Do you like it? Should some dinosaurs be there? Wow. Like that? That's a great background for dinosaurs, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah. Okay, oh, we're gonna. <laughs> he just wants to look at his dinosaur book. You're over this one, are you? You don't care anymore. Toddlers are the harshest critics. <laughs> up, up, upper can come around here. Upper, jump in. <laughs> it's really hard doing videos with kids, especially toddlers. Okay, so this is, as you've seen, this is the, the finished painting. And he doesn't care about it anymore. No. I know, <laughs> I know.
We are definitely going to do this again. I would like to try to do this maybe once a week or once a fortnight. It's really a cool challenge for me to see what I can do with, with his paintings and then, you know, try to make something that's true to my style as well. So it's a nice collaboration, isn't it? Doesn't care. Thank you. Oh, Tyrannosaurus is getting me. I think maybe next time I'm just gonna, if I just paint dinosaurs, then he will be really happy. Anyway, subscribe to us if you haven't already. Thank you for throwing that. <laughs> uh, we have comics on our blog about our intercultural life together. <laughs> and we'll see you later. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.